Yes. Okay, so this is prone decompression breathing into anchored back extension. And I like the anchor for cyclists because it activates the inner thigh, the adductor, and when we can activate adductors, we can actually free up access to the glute mead. So that's the purpose of the anchor. The second part is gonna be the upper body that I'm gonna go long through the lats, which will then decompress and create space between the ribs and the hips. So we're gonna try and get people out of this posture and a little bit more into that posture on the bicycle. Okay, so an anchored prone would, would be face down. We're gonna put the knees together, the toes together, and the heels apart. That's the anchor. So knees together, toes together, heels apart. From there, we're gonna go five fingertips on the ground, just outside of shoulders. Drop the head down right there. In that position, we're gonna breathe. So this is the prone position for decompression breathing. From right here, the belly button stays away from the floor. Big inhale, belly button away from the floor, big exhale. From there, we lift the head off the ground. We lift the hands off the ground. We bring the thumbs to the shoulders, keep looking straight down, lift the feet, squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze the knees, big breath, inhale, exhale, hands go back to position, toes come down, forehead goes back to the ground. So there's some real subtleties to this one. Chin away from the, the floor when it's looking straight down. Forehead touches the ground. Chin and forehead come away. We activate the deep neck extensors, which take us out of that forward head posture. So this is a big one, but it's one of my favorites. So my second favorite exercise for cyclists is gonna be a long split stance. I like this one because we get a decoupling of the hips, which means we get that separation. This hip drops down, this hip drops up. We always wanna work on nice long spine. So we're gonna put the hands behind the head. And from this position, we're just gonna bow straight down and come straight back up. That's the first part of the exercise, it's just a bow. So soft knees, bow, come right back out of that. And this time we're gonna bow and rotate. So from right here, we bow, we rotate, we come back and back up. Bow, rotate, back and up and step together. It's another exercise that encourages internal rotation of that lead leg, decoupling of the hips, long spine, really good posture, and a little bit of thoracic spine mobility. My last favorite exercise, I'm gonna change it a little bit from last night. It's gonna go a lateral half kneeling position. Once again, a little bit of focus on that adductor complex. Again, if this adductor is long and strong, it's way better than if it's tight. And when we cycle a lot, it becomes tight. As a matter of fact, those anterior fibers of adductor magnus start acting like hip flexors. So we need this to be long. So we're going into a lateral half kneeling position, push the hips back, add the hands as a counterbalance, come right back out of that. So from the side view, it's gonna be push the hips back, we get that hip hinge, drive the hands to the front, come right back. So we also want to address that thoracic spine mobility. So let's add a little bit to that. You can push your hips back and then you're just gonna rotate with that underhand reach back. Hips back, underhand reach, and reach back. One more extension of that is to raise up that back arm and you start to really feel how the upper body and the lower body interact. 
and we want that ultimately. Okay, so those are my three favorites. They're a little more involved than normally most people would see, and I hope that's okay with you.